What's going on everyone? Max Power Baseball back with another video. Hope everyone's doing well. I know it's been a couple weeks since my last video. I've been pretty busy with work lately. I was in New York last week, then came back and went to a card show in San Francisco over the weekend. I'll make a separate video about my pickups at the show later. But this video is about making trades. I recently made two trades that were initiated through YouTube. One was with Jeff, who's a buddy of It Cometh an Egg. He has a ginormous collection of about 3 million cards that fills up his entire basement. As expected, he doesn't have everything logged yet, but he did manage to find a few Will Clark cards for me. I also made a trade with fellow tuber and Giants fan Curtis Hendricks. We made a huge rookie card trade that we had been working on for a few weeks. This is actually the first time I've traded cards since I was originally collecting as a kid. Definitely happy with the way it turned out, so hoping to do more in the future. So let's head over to the table and I'll review what I got. Okay, first up are four Will Clark jersey cards that I got from Jeff and traded him some numbered cards, which is what he collects. This is a 2002 Donruss Originals Gamers. This one is numbered out of 500. This is a Leaf Certified materials. This one's 2003, and that one's numbered out of 100. This is a 2005 Upper Deck Postseason Performers, and I got a 2005 Upper Deck Sweet Spots Sweet Threads, uh, and those last two are not numbered cards. But I didn't have a ton of Will Clark jersey cards, so happy to add these to the collection and grow that piece of my PC. Next up is my trade with Curtis that I sent him a bunch of rookie cards, mainly from the Junk Wax era. And he sent me a bunch of rookies, which are more modern cards that I, I didn't have, which I'm trying to get more into modern cards and, and collect rookie cards. So this one is out of 2019 Bowman paper. This is Joey Bart. So he spent most of the season on the single A Giants uh, out of San Jose and had a pretty awesome season and then got promoted to double A and I've heard about the last month of that, that season. And he's playing in the Arizona Fall League and has already won uh, player of the week. So definitely excited to watch his career as he progresses and hopefully gets called up uh, maybe next year. So definitely looking forward to him. And same thing with Elliot Ramos. Uh, this is at a 2019 Bowman as well. This is the camo parallel. Uh, he was also on the San Jose Giants and got called up to double A along with Joey Bart. This is a 2007 Bowman, uh, first Bowman card of Mad Bum. Uh, hopefully he didn't just play his last game as a giant, uh, and they're able to find a way to re-sign him in the offseason since he's now a free agent. Uh, this is Brandon Belt, first Bowman card. This one is out of 2011. And I got a bunch of Buster Posies that were doubles from Curtis uh, that I didn't have. Uh, Bowman Platinum out of 2011. Uh, this is a Donruss Preferred. Tops 5 Tool insert. And a Tops Finest Cornerstones. And out of last year's Tops Heritage, this is the Deckle Edge. This is uh, Miguel Cabrera, future Hall of Famer, uh, 2003 Donruss, out of their The Rookies set. Uh, if he keeps playing for another couple years, he's definitely going to get 3,000 hits and 500 home runs. So, yeah, definitely no reason why he shouldn't be a first ballot Hall of Famer. Yadier Molina, first Bowman card. Um, 
He's kind of borderline whether he'll make the Hall of Fame, but I think he announced that next year will be his last year. So we'll see what he can do. A uh, guy who had pretty awesome rookie year for the Padres uh, until he got injured is Fernando Tatis Jr. This is uh, the first Bowman paper. Definitely a very exciting player. And Pete Alonso, first Bowman. So he set the rookie home run record, breaking Aaron Judges from two years ago. Um, he's likely rookie of the year. So I, I don't see that anyone else really comes close to him. And also won the All-Star uh, Home Run Derby. Very cool. I didn't have any Alonzo cards. This is Kevin Biggio, who is Hall of Famer Craig Biggio's son, playing on the on the Blue Jays with a few other sons of major leaguers, like Vlad Guerrero, who finished up his rookie season after getting called up about halfway through. Uh, this one is uh, 2017 Bowman, and this is 2018 Bowman. Next up is a guy who will likely come in second for MVP voting this year for the AL, uh, Alex Bregman. This is 2017 Gypsy Queen, the green parallel. Having a great year down in Houston. Guy who will also be in contention for the NL MVP. This is Cody Bellinger, 2017 Bowman paper. And 2017 Tops Update, Cody Bellinger. So he just went on a tear the first half of the season. Slowed down a little bit, but should still be... If not win, then at least top two in the MVP voting. And Juan Soto, who had a great sophomore season. Uh, this guy's only 20 years old, so should have a, a long, productive career. Looking forward to what he can do. This one is out of 2018 Tops Update. And finally is... Out of 2018 Tops Heritage, uh, this is Glaber Torres, who also had a great year this year. But that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you stuck through around this far. I'm definitely down to make some more trades if you're interested. My email will be in the description, so send me a note and let me know. Otherwise, be sure to let me know what your favorites were in the comments. Go ahead and smash that like and subscribe buttons. And keep on collecting.